Welcome to QP Tech 1.3. This video will cover the macerator and the wash plan. And these devices are to increase the amount of materials you can get and do some extra processing, eventually building a large assembly line, hopefully. Uh, the wash plant, which the re what it handles has changed since earlier versions of QP Tech. The wash plant basically will now handle your, your gravel and your sand. And so it's going to basically process your, it washes your gravel and sand and it's kind of sifting it. That's the idea. And the gravel is going to output some sand and some clay. And you can also get random bits of nuggets out of it. So it's just, if you usually end up with like piles of extra gravel and sand, and if you're not using it for other things, you can throw it in there and get a little bit of bonus material out of it. Now the sand you can actually feed back into the machine again. And it will occasionally, even though it's sand coming in, it will output some sand out, but like not in a way where you're going to be duplicating your sand unlimited. Eventually you're going to run out to nothing. So it's not outputting crazy amounts of stuff. It's just a nice little extra bonus. Now the macerator which is now changed to input from the top, which it did before, but now it outputs to the right side. So you can see there's a bit of an output there. Just to, And I've also changed the text. So if you read all that wall of text in the description, it'll tell you uh, how it goes. But anyways, so the main use for the macerator is to put your ore chunks in. Instead of crushing with a hammer manually, you'll put them in there and it will output a decent amount more nuggets than you would get if you manually crushed it with a hammer. And there's some randomness to that. But that's what that does. There's some additional handy things the macerator can handle. I keep looking here. This is the macerator. These are just uh, my fancy bronze item hatch, I call them. You can use basically any container, usually including most modded containers. And it's the same on the output. And actually, if you don't have an output or if it gets full, it's just going to spill that stuff on the ground. And you might get the odd time where you'll see stuff spilling out from these devices because there isn't room at the end of a stack. Still working on fixing that, but it's usually not too bad. So. What do you put in the macerator? Your chunks. You can also put in metal scraps if you're not using them for all the new tools. Now you're not going to get out of every metal scrap, but I think it's a 10% chance you might get an iron ingot out of it. So that's just a handy little bonus. There's one there. In case you've ended up with a whole bunch of scrap and you're done making the tools. What else can you put in here? You can also put uh, rock if you quarried rock, which most of the time you're not gonna wanna do that because probably you've worked very hard to get your quarried rock. So you're not gonna be chewing them up in Macerator, but you can. And what are you gonna get? You're gonna get the gravel and stones. You'll randomly find some chunks of ore as well. So of course, the gravel that comes out, you could feed into the wash plant. And then you might get a little bit of extra copper and stuff out of that. You can also put uh, halite stones into the macerator. In this case, it's gonna operate like the quern and you're gonna get your finished salt out. Additionally, you can put your grains in there and get flour out. There we go. So that's the uh, the basics of these devices. Uh, they don't use huge amounts of power, so like these are actually, well, as I build the tutorial, uh, I'm adding more and more devices, but comfortably you're probably going to be able to run them both with a single generator especially as they're not being used all the time. And if you stick a battery, 
going into it, then it's probably going to be ready to go when you need it. So that's basically all there is to these. Uh, hopefully it'll help you get a little uh, extra for your work, especially as you're building QP Tech stuff, you're going to need a lot of uh, copper and bronze and eventually, oh, what's that over there? Oh, never mind. You didn't see that. You didn't see that. Anyways, uh, helps you get extra materials out in the grand tradition of many of the Minecraft uh, tech mods, uh, where slowly you gain efficiency and you'll know how much materials you need if you've gone for the pain of assembling all this stuff to start with. Uh, pain or fun, depends on your point of view. Anyways, that's it for this one, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.